Hello and welcome to episode 50 of Creative Walks and today I am, as I mentioned yesterday, back in Kyiv, all rested, all good after a fantastic trip to western Ukraine where unfortunately I didn't have a chance to actually record many episodes but I'm back and uh, trying to make this as consistent as I can. So I wanted today to talk about three things, two related to the trip and one related to what I mentioned, this email that I got on episode 47. And I'll try to put those three things together into one subject. So bear with me, it will make sense uh, in just a couple of minutes. So the first thing is, uh, as I mentioned in episode 47, that what I was talking about paying attention to your energy levels and how in that case, just to recap, I I was like very tired and uh, uninspired that day and then I saw this email that I received and suddenly my levels of uh, energy were completely changed and that literally happened in an instant from receiving that email which was uh, not getting a million dollars just getting um, a new part of a little puzzle of a project I'm working on and the, the reply that I needed which is basically I got for a Christmas gift, and I think I put that on one of the previous episodes, a DNA test that was uh, something that I've been thinking about doing for actually a few years already, but outside of the interest in trying to identify your ancestry and all that stuff, it was basically a first step on a art project that I'm working on that includes as a big part of it, the analysis of our ancestry in terms of uh, where we came from. And uh, one part of it was for me to be the first guinea pig in the project, being getting your like the swap on your cheeks, you send it to this company, they basically break down your uh, DNA profile and with the information from your DNA and from understanding how different ethnicities exist in different parts of the world and how migrations worked over the last 50,000 years. They have isolated different characteristics in different groups and then they give you a breakdown of your heritage. I will do a separate podcast episode just about that because it's actually quite fascinating. As people usually say, uh, the heritage you think you have is very different than the heritage that is unveiled by the scientific analysis of your DNA. So, I will talk a little bit more about that later. So that's the first thing that was uh, interesting that happened the last uh, week. The second thing is that, as I mentioned, I went on a small trip with um, my wife to western Ukraine. And the first uh, trip was to go to this place called Slavsky, which is sort of like a a ski snowboarding resort in the Carpathian Mountains in uh, western Ukraine. And the cool thing is that I got a chance to, if you listen to episode, I think, 48, I talked a little bit about this. I had a chance to snowboard after six years. And that was quite a fascinating experience, especially because if you listen to that particular episode, I'm not going to repeat what I said there, but it was from this perspective of, what you think it's unsurmountable and those silly fears we have when you actually go and you do those things that you know you're able to do. But the interesting thing on that point was the thing that I was not sure, like being a little bit heavier than what I was six years ago, also a little bit older, how it would be to come back to snowboarding. I assure you it's not like going back to your bike. You really have to go back to and really practice. I mean, I did okay, but it was uh, my confidence levels were not very good in the beginning. It's not like riding a bike. Then the third thing that happened is that we actually ended up going to a very, very lovely city in western Ukraine, southwestern Ukraine, I guess, uh, called Lviv. And it's the best way I can describe the city. It's a city of fantasy. It's um, They basically have one center, which I assume it's like about a five mile radius, that it has like the old part of town. And even I think it's a heritage, like a UNESCO heritage site, that whole uh, that whole place. And we actually stayed on Airbnb in the city center. So everything was walking distance. And that had both this interesting thing that 
you walk a lot, which is kind of cool, but you also walk in this sort of like frozen in time moment because all the architecture is super old, but what they did with the city, it's why I called it the fantasy city, it's they have all these restaurants and all these uh, museums and they sort of like combine those two ideas of a museum and a restaurant. And in a way, like if you've been to Disneyland or if you've been to, I guess, Las Vegas, it has a little bit of that feel to it where every like restaurant is thematic and they have the souvenir shop and uh, all that kind of stuff. But in this case, it is very, very, very creative because it's not one big conglomerate that spews out like... I don't know, like Spider-Man restaurant or like all part of the same umbrella. It's actually a bunch of companies competing with each other, which in a way it's sort of like all the casinos in Las Vegas, but that went to the maximum of um, like, let's say decadence and all that aspect of like gambling and all that. So it has a different feel. This is more like, how can I do one over on your competition. So they have all these shops and cafes and restaurants. And what they ended up doing was you have this bigger, like very successful restaurants with like a conceptual, and then you have all these small shops and they all try to do their own creative takes on different things. And since they are all downtown and I think they have some urban uh, development or like rules going on because you do not see as you as in Paris or at least a few years ago when I visited Paris you do not have like all these billboards and all those things this all has this very cute unique things that every corner you look there is one interesting thing going on like uh, visually or there is music or there is like some uh, guys in front of the restaurants but it's it's unlike if you've been to like Italy, if you've been to Rome, especially, uh, you have these people like basically harassing you to go inside their restaurants, which is very annoying. And the way that they do it here, they basically try to lure you into a story and uh, the story related to that restaurant. And instead of being like, what other places in Europe do like, oh, opens in 700 and whatever, and trying to be very like formal, they make up stories. For example, there is a cafe where they say that they are mining coffee, right, out of the, the earth. So you go underground and they have actually a mining setup there and then they invent like fake stories about this guy on um, uh, on a fez and how he was involved with the creation of the place and it's all fake of course but that's the beautiful thing about this city so I highly recommend going there and okay so what does a DNA result and snowboarding and the pretty fantasy city have to do with each other that's the concept if you read the title of this podcast you'll know which is being on a vision quest a vision quest is, as the name uh, suggests, when you go in search of a vision, of a goal. And the way that I see it, it's like as if you go on top of the mountain to try to see the whole terrain. That's something that I actually thought of when I was actually snowboarding. When you go to the top of the mountain and you see those the beautiful Carpathian Mountains, like all those hills in front of you, and they have a, such different aesthetics to it because of the, I guess the geology of the place is so different than the like Swiss Alps or uh, the uh, the Canadian rocks where I actually snowboarded or in Argentina. So it was very interesting to me to see that place, which is completely different than what I've seen before in terms of the geology of, uh, of the mountains. So it has that very familiar feel because, you know, of course, on top of snowy mountains with a board under your feet. But at the same time, you have this sort of alien terrain because the... And I, I didn't put two and two together knowing that it was the geology that was different until I actually thought of the other places I have snowboarded and how different they were. And that was the, the reason for it, which is it's kind of interesting. And that has to do with this idea of a vision quest. And in terms of the DNA test results, it's also this literally vision quest of understanding where your ancestors come from. And then in terms of the city, like Lviv, is this idea of combining stories and making it into a, an actual marketplace and making it to, uh, into a successful uh, art-related environment. And that's something that I've been thinking about even on my own work, which was to sort of like, which is something that I tried to do in this trip, which is test your aspirations. 
I had this idea of doing this sort of like a travel show. I think I mentioned this on this podcast, which was related to not only going to a place and giving tips of where to go, because that's uh, there is plenty of things about that all over the internet. But my take would be to showcase how I can create art that is inspired by a specific place. And also the process of learning about new cultures and the process of taking in certain influences from a place and from uh, certain ideas and applying it and documenting it. And this was sort of like the first step in trying to create that uh, kind of project. And I must say that I've, I found it very interesting and uh, fascinating and it was nice to balance out something that I usually don't like to do, which is to just travel just for the sake of like, know, relaxing or things like that. But actually doing that and combining that with uh, work-related projects, but not things that you have to do, but what would you actually like to do during a trip in terms of creativity. That's why I combined those three subjects together, which is the my thoughts over the last week, going on a vision quest. And I, as I mentioned, since there were like three very different <laughs> activities, one it's a physical activity, the other is an intellectual, I guess, um, activity, and the other is actually a uh, a trip, like in a more traditional sense. Whenever we think of travel, we always are thinking of going on a vision quest or trying to search for an image that does not exist yet in our lives. And I think that's the main appeal of uh, travels and uh, what I call vision quests. So that's it for today. I will talk tomorrow about this uh, DNA test results because they're kind of fun and uh, I would recommend you do that too. And uh, if you ever have a chance, actually take a moment and go to Lviv. It's a fantastic city. I highly recommend if you are in um, North America or Western Europe, it, the prices are very, very, very affordable for the amount of things that you get. Just be aware that English is not very much spoken in the in the in the place so that will already give you some adventures along the way but in, in any case i highly recommend it so with that i'll talk to you tomorrow